Judgment in the appeal, A, B, and Her Majesty's Advocate. Lord Hodge will explain the decision of the court. It is a matter of established public policy that the law should prevent, should seek to prevent children from engaging prematurely in sexual activity and that it should deter and punish those who predate on children. One option which may be available to legislators is to make any sexual activity with a child under the age of 16 a criminal offence. But it has long been recognised that when someone engages in sexual activity with an older child, he or she may reasonably believe that the child is older than in truth the child is. In other words, that he or she is no longer a child and can fully and legally consent to and engage in sexual activity. In the past, statute law allowed for this circumstance by giving someone who was under the age of 24 a defence if he or she had had consensual sex with a child between the ages of 13 and 16. That defence was that he or she reasonably believed that the child was over the age of 16, and I'll call that the reasonable belief defence. Also in the past, the reasonable belief defence was excluded if the accused person had previously been charged in court with what was called a like offence, which was principally the offence of having consensual sexual intercourse with a child aged between 13 and 16. And it was intended as a result that the reasonable belief defence would be available to an accused person only once. About 10 years ago, the Scottish Law Commission conducted a review on the law of sexual offences. Some of the Commission's recommendations were adopted by the Scottish Ministers and others were modified in the draft legislation which became the Sexual Offences Scotland Act 2009. The Scottish Parliament, in enacting the 2009 Act, chose to preserve the reasonable belief defence and, consistently with the Law Commission's recommendation, did not confine it to accused persons under the age of 24. At the same time, it provided that the defence would not be available if the accused had previously been charged by the police with what it called a relevant sexual offence. The offences which fell within the definition of relevant sexual offence were not confined to consensual sexual behaviour with children aged between 13 and 16. Instead, the term relevant sexual offence covered a wide range of sexual offences, both consensual and non-consensual, where the victim was of any age under the age of 16. In explaining the proposal to the Scottish Parliament in a policy memorandum and in evidence to the Parliamentary Committee, representatives of the Scottish Government justified the proposed restriction of the reasonable belief defence as a means of preventing a serial sexual predator who had relied on the defence and been acquitted from escaping justice in future by relying on the defence again. In his defence of the measure before this court, the Lord Advocate recognised that that justification for the restriction of the defence did not stand up because reasonable belief was irrelevant and provided no defence to many of the offences which had been classed as relevant sexual offences. Further, an earlier police charge might not have resulted in a court appearance and the assertion of the reasonable belief defence at all. Instead, he founded his argument on another justification, namely that the police charge operated as an official warning against consensual sexual activity with an older child, which would or should discourage him or her from such activity. It is undoubted that certain sexual charges could operate as a relevant warning and could form the basis of excluding the reasonable belief defence, but had the earlier charges done so in this case. When aged 14, the appellant had been charged by the police with sexual offences which involved showing online pornographic material to a young boy and exposing himself to children. A decision was made that the appellant would not be prosecuted and the case did not proceed to a children's hearing. Notably, also, none of the charges involved consensual sexual activity with an older child. When he was 19, the appellant was charged with having engaged in sexual intercourse with a girl aged 14 years and 11 months. There is no dispute that, the, the, that this sex was consensual. He sought to plead that he reasonably believed that she was 16 or over. 
but the provision in the 2009 Act excludes that defence. So he challenged the provision on the basis that it failed to strike a fair balance between the public interest and uh, his human right to respect for his private life, and therefore that the provision was beyond the legislative competence of the Scottish Parliament. After the Appeal Court of the High Court of Justiciary rejected his application, he has appealed to this court. This court unanimously allows his appeal. Lord Reed and I have both written judgments with which the other justices concur. In short, the court holds that the interference with the, uh, with the appellant's Article 8 right is not proportionate because the prior charges do not give the supposed warning against consensual sexual activity with children aged between 13 and 16. The problem with the provision is the range of offences chosen to fall within the definition of relevant sexual offences, which cannot be reconciled with the justification put forward for the interference with citizens' private lives. It, it will be possible for the list of offences to be amended to better reflect the apparent aim of the legislation, but as it stands, it is not possible to interpret the relevant provision of the 2009 Act narrowly to bring it within the competence of the Scottish Parliament. It is therefore not law. The, this court remits the proceedings to the High Court of Justiciary to exercise its powers in the light of this judgment.